Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Maniacs. Today we're taking a quick look at Car Mechanic Simulator VR. So first of all, before we go any further, I should say a massive thank you to Playway Games, the publisher, for providing me a key so I could take a look at the game. Also a little early, I believe the game is due out on June the 8th. This video, all being well, should be out before then, so... If you want to play the game, you're going to have to wait a few days for it to happen. As you can see, as is happening here, it's all about, you know, being a car mechanic, working on your dream cars, etc. As well as, I'm sure, you'll start off working on cars which are far from your dream car as well. So there's a skip button that's popped up on the controls. There's also this lever over here, which literally just turns the lights on. And now they don't come back on. Oh, no, there we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we're going to skip the intro. Although I've got to say, I do really like that way of displaying an intro, though. Rather than just being a floating screen in the middle of a black void, they put it on a projector in a little room. That's actually a really genuinely nice touch. So Playway have published a number of VR games now, most of them based around existing flat screen games, such as... Uh, uh, house Flipper, that sort of thing. And I played a couple of them before, and Thief Simulator, I think, was one of them as well. Can we pick this up? We can indeed. So the first thing we need to do is look in the options, because... Yep, snap rotation. So we're going to see if we can change that. I'm not sure that we can. Well, that's a shame. Graphics color quality we could probably put up. So we'll do that. Is there not a controls? There isn't, is there? That is literally all of the VR settings. Hmm. Okay. Do you need V-Sync in VR? I don't know. I don't know if you do. I suppose you do. Never really thought about it before. So we have that. So welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator VR. Press the knob on the right controller. Never heard it called that before. To activate the laser. Oh, I don't see what that, I didn't see what that said. To accept an option on the screen, point the laser at it, then press the trigger on the right controller. You can grab all items in the game by clenching your... Uh, yep. As you can see, it does have uh, native index support. It doesn't have finger tracking, but it does have native index support, which is always nice. Press A on the right controller to bring the tablet to your hand. I am. Well, that doesn't seem to want to work at the... What, is, what does that button do? That's A on the left controller. It just puts you on the floor. Oh, I suppose I'm on the floor so I can work underneath the car. Now it makes sense. Um, helpful information related to the game is displayed on the tablet. If something important happens, the left controller will vibrate. Uh, da, da, da. If the text is too small, hold the device with both hands to unlock. Again, that's a really little, nice little feature. A really nice little feature. A lot of important information when your watch uh, vibrates and beeps. Check your tablet. A blue circle appears so you can grab an item. Green circle shows that you can clench your hand freely and a white circle when something such as another object prevents you from grabbing the item. Okie dokie. So you can see the green circles there appearing. Lovely. Let's make sure I haven't missed anything in terms of the uh, snap rotation. Why snap rotation? In a moment, the wizard will guide you through the VR headset setup process. Well, hopefully I'm already there. Uh, stand in, please. To crouch, you can press... Yeah, they call you the X button, but it's actually an A button on the index. They're A and B on each one. Uh, oh, there we go. Mmm, delicious smooth turning. Yes, please. Knob walking or teleport? I mean... <laughs> smooth locomotion is what they want to say there. Yeah, I'll have that, please. Um, choose how the pie menu will be displayed in-game. Near hand or static? I think the near hand seems a bit more immersive. Excellent. I like the fact that I had that. That'd be nice if the options you could change them in there at any moment, which maybe you can't, but still. Go to the elevator. This? Oh, not, yeah, not, not a person elevator, a car elevator. Uh, turn the red knob to turn on the power. That's an actual knob, that one. I'm all right with that. Then press the up button to raise the car. The music's a little bit uh, crazy. Is that all it goes? I feel like that should go further. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Perfect. Um, there were no general options, were there? For example, to turn the music off. No. Okay. We, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. It's fine. Uh, come to the table behind you. There is a screwdriver line on it. This? 
Head torch? Oh, how do I turn it on? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's focus on the screwdriver, one thing at a time. Walk towards the wheel with the screwdriver. I may have put it too high up in this case. Whoa, no, 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 not all the way down. Calm down. There's no middle ground here. Apparently not. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do this. So we'll unscrew all of the bolts. All the nuts. And then... Ooh. Oh, it just drifts down on its own. Okay. Uh, the game mode has changed to dismantle in parts of the chassis. As a result, elements you can dismantle are highlighted in green, blocked in yellow, and parts that block others are highlighted in red. Aim the laser at the green wheel and hold the trigger or bring the screwdriver close to one of the wheel bolts. Why would I... Aim the laser at the green wheel and hold down the trigger. Is it because I already took the wheel off? So I can't see how that would work now. Because that's now yellow. Oh, there we go. Ah, so I see what that's saying, actually. Yeah, so that's showing us if you select the wheel, which is in yellow, press the trigger, or hold the trigger. Shows you to remove it. You need to remove these bits, which you can do remotely, which I don't like. I'd like it's a VR game. Make me walk up to it and unscrew the nuts. And then that will come off. A wheel is a physical element you can lift. It is also in the clipboard, so don't worry if you lose it. Oh, look at that. I wonder how you get it back on. Let's not worry about that. Uh, when you aim the laser at the interactive parts of the car, you can open the pie menu using the button marked above. Grip. Just say grip. There it is. So we have examine tools, examine mode, part mount, part notes, inventory, and car status. Okay. Pie menus are selected with the joystick. Yep. Confirmed with the trigger. Through the pie menu, you move cars, change operator modes, use tools, just as an end it, such as an engine stand or a welder machine. When messages are displayed on the tablet, laser operation is limited, so you can read the messages freely. Press B to return to normal mode and the car body view. Okay. So if I wanted to change mode again, I would go... Oh, I don't know what I even selected then. Inventory, I think. Yeah, okay. And then B is just your general back. Go in front of the car hood. Is it going to need to be lower? It's definitely going to need to be lower. Why did it even tell me to, to raise the car? Oh. Oh. Interesting. I like that, though. Nice little bit of attention to detail. Thank you, tablet. See if I could stop it halfway again. I don't know why I'm still trying. Now let's dismantle the engine. Point the laser at it and hold down the trigger to switch the game mode to dissembling parts. Like that. To enter the assembly mode, aim the laser at any part and open the pie menu by pressing the grip. Did it say assemble mode? Yes. I'm in assemble mode. Parts are mounted in two ways. Aim the laser where you want the part to be and hold the trigger. The clipboard screen will appear on the tablet from which you must select the appropriate part to be mounted. You can also bring the part in your hand close to the place you want it to install it. Yeah, well, I want to do that. I want to do that. So if we grab a wheel... What did it say? <laughs> um, it will get highlighted in ye yellow, and when you release it, it will be automatically mounted. Um, will it? Okay, well, I could not figure that out at all. The reason I figured out that we couldn't uh, do it by the, the highlighting and clicking thing is because it does need to be in our inventory. 
So when I manage to highlight the, the hubcap, which I bet I can't do now. Oh. Then it comes up and says, do you want to put the wheel hubcap on? And you can click it and I think it's supposed to appear nearby or something. We just grab... Oh, there we go. Now it's put the hubcap on, look. But what I can figure out how to do is how to get the... Oh, now that's coming up. Now that's coming up. I needed to put the hubcap on first, did I? But I can't just... Can't just do that. Or that. Okay. Can we figure that out again? How did we get to that? We had, I think we just taken off the, the hubcap annoyingly. Okay, well it is sort of almost doable. We are in, oh we're not in mount, okay. We might have been taking more things apart. You're yeah, looking on that side. It does look different on this side, doesn't it? So I think I may have accidentally dismantled something. Oh. Yeah, no, that. Okay. Yes. And now, now the hubcap's on there. Although I still can't just put the wheel on. Oh, I can now. There we go. Oh my word, that took way too long. So how do I get to... Is there a way in my inventory of getting to, like, tools? Or is the inventory just... The... No, the inventory's just that stuff. So let's go over here and just grab... I am still crouching. I'm not just very small. Oh, now it's... Is that because I've accidentally come out of the... Yeah, because I'm not in, um... Assemble mode? And then I need to do it again? No, why isn't it working now? And then part mount. And that goes there. Oh! Well, I'm gonna have to cut a fair chunk of that out. I spent way too long figuring out how to do that. And all because I accidentally took off a part I shouldn't have. That's what it comes down to. But now, this should be, in theory, it's a shame you just can't just do that and it works. Seem you need to go into like a particular mode. Right, part mount, pick up the wheel. Well, that was a little bit easier, wasn't it? Little bit easier. So we'll clean up the mess that we, hello. There we go. I don't know why they suddenly stopped responding to the to the screwdriver. Cool. Right, we can finally, finally... Oh, we've already skipped past it. You still have to familiarize yourself with the car's inspection mode. Aim the laser at any part and open the pie menu by clenching your hand. Select the car condition overview using the right joystick. Select the car condition overview. What 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 icon are they going to? That one, the one we've accidentally gone into a few times. That one. We did. Was I supposed to not not it's not stray from the car? So I think that's basically showing us we took those off and we put them back on again, so that's good. And if we had something left off, I imagine it'd still be in a... Oh, different colour. We don't want that. Obviously, we don't want that. Tutorial finished. That's it. That's all there is to the game. Excellent. Video over. Game completed. Job done. Bish bash bosh. Um, oh, now can we turn the music down? I wonder. Oh, now we can. Yes. Not that I think we're going to worry about it at this point. Are we? No, maybe we are. I, don't, I wasn't a big fan of the sort of generic music. It's already at 10, actually. If we turn it down, it'll be off. So let's just leave it. Anything interesting in... 
not nothing too much nothing too much so we'll just come back and we'll just hit new game and we'll take a quick look and what that looks like i haven't played this at all by the way i never actually said that did i oh um yeah and i haven't played the flat screen version of car mechanic simulator or i think there's a, there's a mars rover simulator i think there's a bike simulator a bike mechanic simulator but i think that's coming out i don't don't think that's quite out yet is it? but i've not played any of the mechanic simulator games is what i'm getting at so it's all pretty new to me and is it i just have steam vr which is never a great sign oh there we go there we go tutorial finish test track to complete tutorial Welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator. See the new fully unlocked garage. Very nice. And check out the operation of various parts of the workshop. You can finish the tour with taking the car for a test. You can take the car for a test drive. Well, that's interesting. So I guess these are just going to give us little uh, informations. Tire changer and wheel balancer. Okay. And what is this? Spring compressor. Okay. Obviously, we're going to forget all of this. Uh, the test path allows you to test the car's brakes and suspension. But that's a, like a... Oh, no, it does. I thought it was going to load up like a separate room, but no, it is just a... Part of it. Okay, excellent. I like that. I like that a lot. What have we got here? The repair bench gives you a chance to repair worn-out parts. Okay. So this is one of the rust buckets we're going to be working on, is it? Looks like it has seen... Uh... I can't... Can't grab the hood yet. That one doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. You can just point it. But I don't want to point and click. I want to grab. But I can grab because it keeps going up with that menu. Boo. Boo. Anyway, where's the blue thing gone? Over here. Uh, car lift. Yes, we already dealt with the car lift. So that's fine. Oh, hello. Uh, oil drain allows for safe disposal of used motor oil. A lot of you probably looking at the stuff and already know what it is. I am not quite there. Uh, allows for storing of, of parts which you don't currently need. You can expand the warehouse areas as your inventory grows. So this is something which isn't, isn't actually a... Yeah, so not actually a physical thing beyond that. It's just a, a, a way to get to a menu, essentially. Which is fine. I thought that or that yellow lit up when I got there. So I thought that did something. Um, the paint shop. Quite self-explanatory. Cleaning. Interior detailing toolkit. Yep, it's, what, it's cleaning is what that is. I was still on that menu. I wondered what that was. And then in here... We have a couple of things. We have a computer where you can purchase new parts. Oh. We have a, a battery charger to charge used batteries. And we have a welder. Uh, perform repairs on bodywork components which cannot be removed from the car. So you can't do like a... Oh. Click, click. There we go. I took several attempts to click that button. Uh, engine lift, engine crane. Almost got the name right. Almost got the name right. Uh, is that everything then? That appears to be everything. In which case we need to get into this car and go for a test drive, right? So how do we do that? So I finally figured out how to get to the test track. Annoyingly, I realized I wasn't actually recording, which is a bit of a shame, but I'll show you guys how I did it in just a minute. I uh, used to check the performance of cars. Perfect. Um, I think we need to be up a little bit, yeah. That feels a bit better. That feels a bit better. Do we need to be back anymore? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, speed dial? Yeah, can we, can, we move the, can we make this smaller and put this out of the way somewhat? Because, I mean, that's getting silly. And then it seems like, yep, yeah, right trigger is accelerate. I'm assuming it's going to be a manual transmission. Yes, it is. I'm assuming left trigger is brake. Yes. So, I mean, it doesn't handle the best of any of any VR driving that I've done. 
But I mean, it's not a driving game, is it? It's a, uh... It's a car mechanic game. And there's a brake test somewhere. I don't know where that is, though. We'll drive around until we find it. We failed. We need to actually stop in that circle, didn't we? I don't know how I ended up going backwards there. I don't think I was pressing anything to say go backwards, but that's fine. Okay, stop. Stop. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Right. See, I actually ended up having to watch someone else's video on the flat screen version of Car Mechanic Simulator, because uh, this is based on the 2018 version. So I actually had to watch someone else play it to uh, figure out how to do it. So, I tried a few things. I took the car to the garage, sent the car to the garage and tried to win it from there. Well, looks like we have a smaller garage now, which is interesting. But yeah, so I, I was looked around, looking around on the map, and I looked at the map and saw you could see these three things, and that was it. When I saw the other guy's video, uh, I realized that there is more to the map. And over here is the test track, where you can then say which car you want to take. We don't have any now because we're out of the tutorial. Uh, there still wasn't oil in the car, so I couldn't take it there. But then when I brought the car back from the parking uh, garage, opened the hood up and pointed at the engine. I could suddenly work on it and point at the oil cap and it filled it with oil. So in the end, it was relatively simple. We just got a bit stuck, I think, in some of the uh, some of the mechanics a little bit. So we got a bit confused or, I mean, I got a bit confused, so that's fine. So now we're in the game. Uh, what do we do? Let's, let's do a job, right? Repair orders. Do we want to pair, repair a, oh my God. Wife just scared the crap out of me by dropping something in the kitchen. Do we want to repair a Katagiri Katsumoto? Or an Emden Lot? I mean, that sounds a lot more fancy, doesn't it? Repair with minimal parts condition to 100 or up to 50. That sounds like it'll be easier. Story order? Normal order. Oh, I see. So that's part of like a campaign. And that's just part of a normal. Well, let's do the campaign -y one then. Let's see this, uh, this, was it in Eden? I've already forgotten the name of it. Oh, lovely, lovely, bit rusty, okay. So I genuinely don't really, I know it's given us some base mechanics, I don't really know, what do we do with it now that we've got it? Now oh, the wheels are terrible and something in there is terrible. So we need to order four wheels, I guess? Uh, no, not there. Where do we order stuff? In the warehouse? No. In the inventory? No. So do we actually have to go to internet browser? Which we cannot use at the moment. Do we not have a... I can't see a computer here where we would order parts from. Oh, is this it? Is it this terrible thing over here? Yes. Right. Uh, main tire shop. I don't know what sort of tires we need. How do we know what sort of tires we need? I wish there was a run option. That would be very nice. There are... There's nothing in there, was it? Oh, we're doing all this again. Okay, then that's just... I don't think it's going to give us anything different, is it? I'm trying to exit. I'm trying to exit. But it doesn't want me to. Do I have to say undo? Oh, okay, fine. Stand in. Uh, yeah, crouch. Smooth turning. Knob walking. Near hand. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Great. Um, so let's move this onto the car lift. Move car. We don't have a car. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. That's going to make it very difficult to repair if we don't have a car lift. Let's move it up. See, now it only goes that far again. Oh, so that's just, that is the down position, isn't it? And then that's the up position. How do we get... How do we get that off? There's no... I can't see how you take the hubcap off. It also seems to be part of the standard tyre B. They're all standard tyre Bs, okay. 
Oh, now you can see them. Where is my my drill? I know you can just point and click, but I don't want to point and click. I want to I want to point and click with a drill in my hand, so I feel like a real mechanic. Well, that sounds horrible. Oh, it's disappeared. <laughs> so let's try that again. Did the other drill sound as horrible, or did we just have a better, better drill in the tutorial? Excellent. And there was nothing, let's just quickly check the... Uh... How do I get to... That's what I wanted. Yeah, so nothing else underneath it is literally just the tyres, okay, and whatever's in the engine as well, but that's fine, we can get to that in a second. How come I not now leave that mode? Is it because I'm holding on to that? I thought B was supposed to turn everything off. B is not turning anything off. Uh, okay, let's just go use the computer, see if we can buy a standard tyre B. Maybe we'll just try lowering it as well, seeing if that does. No, because now the tyre's in the way. Or well, the wheel, I should say. Okay, well that does seem to have fixed the problem. We'll open that and have a look for whatever it is we need there. First of all, let's see if we can order... Tire B's. Standard tire B. Why is there not a standard tire B? Standard tire B. I've got no idea what size they are. I've got no idea what size they are. How do I know what size they are? I cannot click or do anything. When it's now off, like I can't point it, I can't use the trigger. Um, and I didn't want that. Well, there's the actual car status there, but I don't want that either. Um, part notes. I got added to a list. Does that mean if I come over here now and look at my notes? I can't close this now. Ha 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 ha. What else do we need to do? Change the oil, drain and refill with new. So it doesn't actually want me to do anything with the tyres. Oh no, it does. Because we found faulty parts. Four standard tires, air filter, and a fuel filter. And we need to change the oil. Okay, we can do that. Um, but I don't know how to get out of that. Because <laughs> that's where the notebook is. So I've just taken off another wheel and uh, dismantled the tyre because I watched someone else, again, the same guy, um, who I'll have to try and figure out his name. In fact, I think I might be able to see it. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry, dude. Uh, and what he pointed out was you can see the tyre... Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> you can see the tyre size on the ones that you've taken. Oh, why is that still there? Enter. Uh, so they're 205, 55, 16. So I've ordered the wrong tyre. So we need to sell all of these. I don't know whether that makes any difference on how this machine works with regards to reassembling. Because um, in his video, where he was doing the flat screens, he just came over here and pointed at it, and then he went to do that. Oh, there we go. There we go. I, I swear that didn't come up before. I swear that didn't come up before. It didn't get highlighted before. Maybe that's because I had stuff on it. Maybe if stuff's on it, you can't highlight it. But okay, right. You. Uh, standard tyre B. Uh, 116... 
205, 55, and we need four of them. Excellent. Right, now we have that. Should we take off the rest of these tires, actually? I don't have my drill with me, so I am going to cheat. I say tires, I mean wheels, obviously. And then we need to look at whatever the red parts were inside the car. So let's come over here, let's... I see... Oh, there, okay. Maybe I was pressing the wrong button. So if we say separate parts, we have these two here. If we say this one... So if we say this one... Yes. I don't know, I don't know, I don't exactly know why it didn't work the first time there. It's so kind of slightly finicky. Uh, so now I can't do anything with it because, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on it. So if I say separate parts again... Yes, it's a little confusing. You have to click on the top and not the bottom icon for that to work. But fine, we are getting there. So then we get rid of that. We say install. And we would like one of these rims. Yes, please. And then one of these 100% condition tires. Has to be the 100% condition ones, obviously, otherwise the customer will be very unhappy that his tires are exactly the same and we've charged him $200 per tire. Uh, now this was a wheel balancer, wasn't it? Which I assume we need to use. There are no items to work with. Is that because it's still on here? Well, I can't... I can't grab that. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now if we say balance, how do we know if we've balanced it or not? So if I say this one... While we're here, actually, we'll get rid of these um, knackered tires so that we don't get confused. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. No, I think. Did I just sell everything? No. Okay. That's. So if we take the part and then install the final two. And I guess over here we have to take the part again? Yes. But now if we say a balance... Oh, so it knows which one hasn't been balanced then. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Feels like one of those things that if you knew a little bit more about, if you played the flat screen game, maybe the flat screen tutorial is a little bit more effective, or maybe it just isn't a very effective tutorial either way, and you just have to know a little bit about it. Um, it's certainly not ideal when you need to go and watch someone else's video to figure out what it is you need to do, but we did get, in, get there in the end. And a few other things I think had to do with the VR controls being, like I didn't, wouldn't expect to hold grip on that to bring up the, the pie menu, as they call it. I thought I'd have to go and get the tyre. I thought I'd be able to at least get the tyre. I thought that'd be an option to find the bought tyre, put it on the rim, and then uh, tell the machine to go then. So let's balance the last one. Which does mean we're going to have to go over here and say install new, new wheel on these bits. We're not going to have the option to bring a wheel over and install it, which is a little bit of a shame. So if we say part mount, standard tyre B, I don't think it matters, they're all the same, aren't they? So that one, and we still don't know, oh my drill's over there, but we'll just pretend we have a remote drill. I think the game is probably designed a bit more with that in mind.
We just need to go and take the tire off of the wheel balancer. I'm assuming they are all balanced now, aren't they? Yeah, excellent, okay. So two of the wheels are on, we need to get these two wheels on. We need to go into part mount. So I'm getting the hang of it now a bit. There's that one. Now we need to change the oil. But we also need to repair a couple more bits. So before we go... Why can't I turn? Oh, there we go. Before we go changing the oil where the car will need to be raised up and it was... Um... There. There it is. We need to use that, don't we? So we'll bring this down. Well, in fact, we know what it is, don't we? Because we had the... Um... Where does it tell us? Tells us in the car overview, is it? Uh, current car status, yes. So we've done the four tires, we need an air filter and a fuel filter, but I don't know which. I'm assuming there are multiple filters and multiple, well, multiple air and multiple fuel filters. So if we say overview mode, there's one of the bits there. Oh. Sneaky, hidden inside there. Okay. No, oh, I don't know why it's shot over there all of a sudden. So... We'll focus on the engine, and then we want the fuel filter. Is it? Is it off? Oh, there we go, yes. So let's just pop that there. Oh, yes, of course, because it gets highlighted red if they're in the way. Oh. Cheeky. So now we can take that off, pop that there. Oh, that's safe down there, that's okay. And there's the air filter. Which looks, I mean, terrible. Looks terrible. But if we now look in our inventory, uh, we need, uh, oh, it doesn't have names. Just fuel filter, air filter. Well, I assume there's only one of each then. Uh, main shop, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there we go, air filter. Yes, one of those, that looks about right. If we go to engine, uh, C's, 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 E's, F's, fuel filter. There's only one fuel filter. So I'll have that. Thank you. So if we pop into our inventory, we'll just sell the old ones. We know we don't install the wrong. Where's my fuel filter? Oh, it's down the bottom. Okay. So we'll sell that one and we'll sell that one so we know that we've got the 200% ones on there and then we come across to our car we said we want to work on the air intake we want to part mount air filter now we would like that air filter to go in there and then the air filter cover that we uh, threw on the floor somewhere Ooh, that's not an easy, uh... Not an easy click. This is where I'd sort of like the tablet to be more of like a... Like a workbench. So if I could just have like a bench here with all the pit bits on that I'd taken off. And then I had to pick them up and put them back on. I think that would be obviously a slightly more immersive way of doing it. And I have no idea how difficult these things are when you're going from a, a flat screen to a VR game. I'm assuming not all that easy. 
Right, so that should be... Uh, car status. Yeah, that's all that. We just need to do change the oil, drain oil, and refill with new. Cool. So if we bring the car up. No, up, 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 up. Try again. If we bring the car up. And then we bring the car up again. Do we just grab this and bring it over? No, we're going to do that, aren't we? Move equipment to car lift A, and there it is. So now we, if we just like, do the same thing, use equipment. Oh, and there it goes. That was it. Oh, I expected more. Move equipment. Place equipment back where it belongs. And if we bring this down. So we do the engine, oil fill plug, fill it with oil. Now I think this is obviously what I did in the end of the tutorial. I think when it does that, I think that's probably when you should stop. If you carry on going, it will put more in and then it starts overflowing. So I'm assuming you're not supposed to do that. So we'll connect that all back up, pop the hood down. Let's lower it all the way down as well. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I thought that would take me to... Uh, how do I say... Uh, car status, was it? Finish order. Way! We just completed our first order. Nice. Nice, so there's now no story order to do. So there would we'll take a very quick, we won't actually finish this one off because I've taken quite a long time just faffing around trying to figure out how everything works. So I'd like to have done like a, a, a bit more in the way of the actual car work, but time is running short. We just wanna have a quick look at this one. We'll have a look what's wrong with it. One thing to note is it said that you could replace the parts with a non, non fixed parts, non new parts, I should say. So everything seems okay, actually. Nothing's red. Oh. Oh, no. Brakes. Brakes over there as well. All the brakes. Maybe just those two. But if we come out of this and then go to car status. Where's my... There it is. Uh, so yeah, brake pads, brake disc, brake pads. Uh, but it can be replaced with condition parts, which are 56%. So we, I think we're going to have to buy new anyway. We would have to buy, buy new anyway. Um, but if we had old bits lying around, we could just use old bits. So let's have a, just have a little... Like I said, I don't know if I'll actually finish this. But then again, maybe I will. Just because it's, it's getting a little bit more involved, isn't it? And we know what we're doing now as well, so I'm feeling good about myself. So let's bring it all the way up. Now, which part was it? That one. That one. There's two pads and a disc. So it's that disc. And that pad as well, I'm guessing. That's why we can see it from that side. And then that pad. Okay. So let's get rid of that. We need to get the caliper off. gives us access to the brake pad. Excellent. That's all we need to do over there. Over here, you can see that brake disc looks a lot, um, a lot more corroded, can't you, than the other ones. 
So let's take off the caliper. Take off the pad. Take off the disc. Yeah, we're fine. That's all we needed. So now if we look in our inventory. Hello. What do we have? We have a case. I'm intrigued by the case. No. No. Do I want to open a case? Yes. Oh. Okay. Rear spring barn location map. Oh. I don't know what the barn location map is. Anyway, we just need uh, brake pads, no particular name. Uh, the calipers are fine. It was the brake disc, wasn't it? And just a brake disc. So a brake disc and two brake pads? I'd have thought they'd have different sizes and the such like, but what do I know, eh? Brakes. Main shop? Brakes? So it didn't want to come up. Uh, do they not sell brake bits? Okay, so I've managed to find the brake parts. I had to do a search for them. Um, just, just go into all and scrolling through, they wouldn't show up. Clicking in any of the options at the top did nothing, so you had to, to search up there to get them. I was actually incredibly close just to uh, not doing this and to moving on uh, with, with just finishing the video and just leaving it at that until I found that you could do that search. Which I thought I'll just try, just on the off chance while I was sort of saying, saying my goodbyes. But there we go, we figured it out. So if we just pop into the inventory, so we want to get rid of the broken bits. Can we... If we do it by name, we can see them next to each other. So we know we need to sell one brake disc. Yes. And then these two broken brake pads. Which leaves us with all of the working stuff. So now... I thought there was a wheel on there then. I was very confused. So if we come up here, if we go into part mount, we'll mount the brake disc. Yes, please. We'll mount the brake pads. Yes, please. And we shall mount the brake caliper. Uh, yes, please. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yes, okay. And then screw it back in. Which is screwing in from behind. Maybe I should have actually walked behind so we could see that properly. Maybe we'll do that next time. Uh, any old tyre will do. Whatever we have. They're all much of the muchness. And then we come over here. We'll go back into nothing. We need to select that. And then we go into part mount. So let's put the brake pad on. Let's put the brake caliper on. And then I'm actually going to go around this side so we can actually see what we're screwing in. Does that make sense? Right, I just had to take a bit of a break away, so I'm a bit confused as to where I am. I think we we're just putting everything back together, weren't we? So let's just pop a part mount, mount the wheel. We'll mount that wheel, please and thank you. Now, is that all we had to do for that car? Uh, car status. Poor brake performance, so replace the brakes. Yeah. Cool. Job done. Excellent. Well, now that we've actually done a whole other fix, I am going to leave that there. So, I don't think I'm going to have any of the previous spiel I did, but just let's go through it again, shall we? So I'm enjoying the game. I'd really like to see a lot more of the game. A massive thank you to Playway for providing a key. I would would have liked to see a bit more in the way of VR immersion. So rather than having, or even having it as like an option where you can point and click, or you can have like a realism mode where you have to use the tool, so you could have like a tool belt. Or can you have a tool belt? I don't. I didn't check to see if you can clip things to you. I can't. You can't reach anything. Oh, you can. Oh, why didn't I even think of that? But you can only do two things by the look of it. 
and it's a bit finicky with screwdrivers. But yeah, having like a proper tool belt with all the things, or even like an option where you could sort of pull out something to pick the various parts maybe, um, and then being able to like have the actual wheels on there so you could pick them up and take them to the car, or as I said before, like a trolley that you could take as you dismantle bits, put them on the trolley so you had that there. Something like that I think would be really nice, but saying that it is a conversion from a pancake to a VR game, so there are obviously going to be limitations in what they can do with the game and the time and the development resources they have. So with all that in mind, they've done a really, really good job of making a, a flat screen game into an immersive VR game. Obviously, if you're into cars, if you're into your mechanics, this is going to be something that's probably going to interest you quite a lot. I apologize that that is not my, my forte, so if I have done anything stupid or said anything stupid, I do apologize. But we're going to leave the video there then, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays at 7pm UK time. It'll be wonderful to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in some other magical VR adventure. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.